Hey guys, this is Sam. Today we're going to learn how to create an analog clock in JavaScript. Let's create a new file here. Let me save this file inside my documents, video tutorials, JS tutorials, and new directory. This is the 27th video. And save this file. Let me create two more files here. One is for styles, one is for JavaScript purpose. Okay, fine. Before that, I want to show you something. I'm going to use these four images in this video lesson. Clock face and all the hands. Okay, let me copy this and let me paste this inside. Let me create a new directory here, images. Let me paste this inside this directory. Okay, let's go back to the code. Let me insert the HTML snippet. I'm sorry. And lock lock. And let me create a div with a class container and div with a class clock and three images. Uh, images. Or and dot png so let's copy this and paste it here paste it here minute second okay okay let's open this file here uh, and lock lock in case yes. yeah okay don't worry, don't worry about this we can fix this here we can fix everything in a while let's add the styles here and let's add the script here yeah let me begin with setting the height 100 percentage container uh, let me set display flux i just want to have everything to be uh, everything to be aligned in the center justify content center in order to apply this uh, styles i need to set the height for the container too let's test this okay we don't see any change here let's add the clock class okay with 400 pixel height 400 pixel background url images clock face dot jpg these are all the images i have copied into the images directory okay let's fix this ants images let me add a new class here and uh, let me set position relative here and position absolute here so i want to position it absolute, absolute top zero left zero okay let's add a class here oops let's see this in action oops what happened oh sorry 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 okay now everything is aligned properly and i want to have a small circle at the center okay we can have this too using a pseudo element let me send let me set the content as empty and background color to triple zero and with uh, 30 pixel height 30 pixel before that let me set absolute positioning uh, let's see this in action oops okay now i want to position it to the center okay and transform 
translate x 50 percent each and translate y 50 percent each and i want this as a circle right so the there's a technique you can use border radius for this for that see 50 percent each whenever you use border radius don't forget to add vendor prefixes okay this is fine let's jump into the javascript part okay before that i want to give name to this elements okay let's change this to minute let's change this to second okay let's access these elements from here get element by id i'm sorry i'm new to this keyboard okay let's change this minute and and this second and okay let me introduce new function here any clock no arguments let me clear everything and when the document loaded i want to call this method okay i want to call this method indefinitely so just i use set timeout any clock and thousand millisecond which means one second so for every one second i'm going going to call this method and let me create a new date object and using this date object i'm going to get the current r okay so this will give you 0 to 23 but we need 12 hour clock okay let me take a modulo of 12 just to get minutes just to get seconds fine and let me tell you one thing before i proceed with that okay let me open this in uh, console developer console and let me navigate to some of this element okay any element and let me set the transform property uh, rotate 30 degree okay as you can see this image is now at this position right let me change this value so when i keep on changing this value though the this uh, second and is actually rotating okay so this is the technique in this video lesson actually zero is the minimum value 360 is the maximum value actually you know this okay by using this technique we are going to rotate the second clock okay so let's compute the hours degree that's a computation here and there will be a computation here there will be another computation here okay when you computed the value you just set that value to the hour and style transform equal to rotate the computed value and the word dick and semicolon okay let me do this for hour i mean minutes and seconds minute and second fine okay let's come to the calculation part let me finish this minute and seconds first okay come starts with second okay for every second okay i want to move this right so there is actually the total decrease is 360 360 by 60 gives you 6 right so let me multiply this value with 6 let's see this okay some error is there 
okay script.js script.js what why I added this I'm sorry for this yeah it's okay okay let's move on to the minute so minute is also the same right 360 by 60 and R is actually 360 by 12 360 by 12 will give you 30 okay now everything is working but the time is 8 30 now this R and should be somewhere between 8 and 9 right so we are missing something here so for every R it should move 30 degree right so for all the minutes also it should respond okay total is 60 minutes so 30 degree is there so I want to divide it to 60 minutes so 60 times I want to divide it so when I divide that I will get 0 0.5 so let me use the 0 0.5 here and let me multiply with minute let me enclose this with brackets okay I want to do the same thing here also for the minute and also see for every minute it moves 6 degree right so total uh, seconds is 60 60 by what is the value here? 6 6 6 by 60 which will give you 0 0.1 right 0 0.1 into second now you can see the little movement in this uh, minute and okay this is all about creating a uh, analog clock in javascript you can have your own styles here you can customize it however you want and you can get the source code from this description area thanks for watching this video bye bye